Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel where this time I'm over at Panera Bread to go in on a little comfort food classic goodness only this time made a little bit more portable. That's right, you already know what it is. Feast your eyes on their all new grilled mac and cheese sandwich. And already guys, I'm digging the toasty presentation of that thick cut classic white miche bread. It's looking really nice, definitely thick cut and definitely lovely. But as they say, it's what's on the inside that counts. And in this case, we've got their creamy mac and cheese featuring a blend of fontina and mozzarella cheeses along with Parmesan crisps. And I gotta say guys, it's looking very thick, very dense, and I'm definitely digging the shell pasta on this. Looking really, really nice. And it looks like we've got a decent portion of that mac and cheese to cover both halves of this sandwich here, guys. And along with it, the aroma to match. I am really digging the pungentness of that fontina and the Parmesan especially. This is looking pretty awesome. So let's not waste any more time on this one. It's the all new grilled mac and cheese sandwich here at Panera Bread. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir, we've got a very carb on carb situation with this one, guys. Mac and cheese inside of thick cut white miche bread. This is definitely a banging situation. A lot of cheese here as well. I am really digging the quality. And like I said, the shell pasta is really soaking up the cheese. It's pretty nicely there. As you can see, there's a decent amount of cheesy goodness on this. And like I said, the aroma to match. Notes of Parmesan from those crisps and the Fontina cheese. Guys, like I said, it's a very pungent situation. And real quick, just to set the tone before I take the first bite, when I was a kid, I actually used to make spaghetti sandwiches, believe it or not. There was just something about having noodles on the inside of bread with that sauce. It just tasted really good. So I'm expecting the same type of mouthfeel, granted it's a different type of noodle, but with lots of cheesy goodness. And again, one more time, very, very lovely carb on carb action with this. Here we go. It's the all new grilled mac and cheese sandwich here at Panera Bread. And man, also, let me just say this is very hefty in my hand right now. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Rich, dense, pasty, and thick on that, guys. There is so much cheese in this. I'm actually tasting more of the cheese than the actual pasta. Just adding the more girth to it is what it's doing right there. But man, a very solid amount of goodness. Right after that first bite, instant flavor overload. This is totally gluttonous, totally comfort food to the next level. And I gotta say again, guys, very, very lovely in the flavor department. Just a banging situation already. And you know what? I think the wild card with this are those Parmesan crisps along with the mozzarella because the Fontina, believe it or not, comes up right after the Parmesan flavor, but the thickness and the denseness is just crazy on this when you combine it all together. Let's keep going in. This is pretty awesome. Mmm. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am. Now, if you can imagine the thickest grilled cheese you've ever had, and I'm not just talking about the size of the toast, I'm talking about the cheese itself. If you can imagine all kinds of cheesy goodness on the inside with every bite, that's pretty much what this is, guys. I gotta say, it's really awesome. And believe it or not, the noodles are blending very nicely with the bread to give you that denseness even further. But the quality is crazy on this. And like I mentioned earlier, totally gluttonous, totally flavorful, but the combination, like I said, works amazingly well. Fontina is a very good choice because it's so pungent and rich and vibrant. And when you add in the mildness of that mozzarella, and then you're coming up with the Parmesan crispy goodness here as well, these are fairly thick cut little Parmesan goodies, guys. It really is pretty nice and they're crunchy. Very nice. That was really tasty. But of course, they're kind of drenched in cheese, and honestly, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm going to keep showing you this as much as I can, because like I said, this is crazy. Now, this whole sandwich is about 860 calories, so in the 900 calorie range, you'd expect it to be because the, the cheese is on overload with this. But even still, with all the noodles on the inside of this, and of course, that classic white niche bread, it's just a fancy way of saying artisan white bread, really. But very lovely. The toastiness is banging on it. The quality is insane. I'm going in for another bite, guys, because I really want to. This is crazy flavorful. Mm. And we're back with another close-up. You know, I gotta say, it's been a minute since I've had the mac and cheese over here at Panera, but the creaminess is so off the chart with it and the flavor is just delivering like crazy. It's not overly salty, so you're really getting the nice rich flavor of that cheese. But when you combine it with everything else on the inside, guys, just another crazy situation of tasty, flavorful goodness. And again, comfort food overload in the palm of your hand. Pretty much portable, good to go. This is pretty great. All right, so let's go for one more bite on this one before we close this review up with the rating coming up next. But again, guys, I'm so glad to be giving this one a shot. Even though it's well over 100 plus degrees right now in Southern California, I am loving doing this right now because the flavor is distracting me beautifully. Very, very rich, vibrant all across the board, and easily worth the price of admission. A little on the expensive side for this one, but it's easily worth it. One more bite and we'll finish it out. Hang on. 
All right, so here's a shot of the other half just to give you a better representation of the thickness of that bread, guys. It really is very thick cut, almost like a Texas toast situation. I'm really digging that. And of course, with all the goodies on the inside, see if we can open this up for you. Look at all of that action right there. Trying to keep the focus in. It's ooey gooey cheesy goodness delivered from a classic menu favorite over here at Panera Bread, only in more portable form. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the all new grilled mac and cheese sandwich here at Panera Bread a rock solid nine out of 10. Guys, I gotta say this was super delicious across the board and I think you got that vibe from me throughout this review. But let me just say, while this is not something you'd wanna eat every single day, it's making a strong case to change your mind to do just that because the quality is so rich, so vibrant, just ultra creamy at the same time. And like I said, the pungent factor of that Fontina cheese along with the Parmesan, a banging situation all around. Just a totally delicious, gluttonous type of sandwich to have. And like I said, worth the price of admission. All right, so I gotta ask you, with everything you've seen and heard up to this point, would you personally spend a little over $10 for a mac and cheese sandwich, especially one of this caliber? Because like I said, guys, that was really pretty delicious across the board. All high quality ingredients, but did it look worth it to you? Drop some comments down. Let me know if you'd actually do that. And also, did you ever make a spaghetti sandwich when you were a kid? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Well, I gotta say, as much as I absolutely love grilled cheese sandwiches, this one has completely ruined it for me right now because now whenever I get the urge for one of those, all I'm gonna be thinking about is this. Nice job, Panera, nice job. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews, but just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.